chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again we have to answer the various questions on the basis of this pie diagram it says item total item sold is 500 and five shops are there p q r s and t and 18% of these 500 are sold by p 16% by q likewise 20 22 and 24% are sold by other shops another thing that is given in the first statement of this question which i haven't written here to save space that each of the shops is selling two types of items item a and item b so if p is selling 18% of 500 then in its share some items are of a type and some are of b type similarly for q it is also selling two types of items a and b r s and t now let us use this information to solve our questions if the total number of item b sold by all of the shops together are 58% of the total items sold by all of the shops so we can say item b by all shops is equal to 58% of the total sale which is 500 we are not calculating it keep it like this then find the difference between the item a sold by all of the shops together and the item b sold by all of the shops together item b is already with us item a by all is equal to so if 58% is item b and there are only two types of items then the remaining that is 42% of 500 will be item a and we have to find the difference so just subtract 58% and 42% will give me 16% of 500 we can write it as 16 by 100 into 500 100 and 500 give me 5 16 into 5 is 80 which is the required answer let us move to our next question now if the total number of item b sold by shop q and that of r are equal that is item b sold by shop q we can write q b item b sold by shop q is equal to item b sold by shop r so in symbolic form we can write and let it be further equal to x okay the item b sold by q and that of r are equal we have written them equal to x and the ratio between the item a sold by shop q so we can say a sold by shop q and item a sold by shop r the ratio is 2 is to 3 so we can say that item a sold by shop q can be written as 2k and item a sold by shop r can be written as 3k the ratio is 2 is to 
So from the basic theory of ratios we can write that item A sold by shop Q is 2K and item A sold by shop R is 3K. So we have this available. What we have to find? Then find the total number of items item B sold by Q and R together. We have to find out the sum of QB and RB and QB and RB are similar to X. So we have to find out 2X. Let us now see how we can do it. Now what is the total sale of shop Q? Total sale of shop Q is 16% of 500 and Q is selling only A and B items. So we can say that item A by Q 2K plus item B by Q X should be equal to 16 by 100, 16% 16 of 500 which is equal to 80. This we can write as our equation 1. And let us now check out the total sale by shop R. Number of items of type A sold by shop R is 3K. And type B is X. It should be equal to the total sale of R 20% of 500. So we can write it as 20% of 500. It simplifies to 100 which is our equation 2. Now what do we have to find? We have to find x. We do not need k. So we have to eliminate. How do we eliminate k? We can multiply equation 1 entirely by 3 and equation 2 entirely by 2. So what will happen? This will become 6k. This will become 3x. This will become 240. This will become 6k. And when you subtract, let us write the results of subtraction here itself. Orally 6k and this 6k get cancelled. 3x minus 2x will be x equal to 18 to 3 is 240 minus 100 into 2 is 200 so it will be equal to 40 and therefore together sale of B will be both are equal so X and X will be 2 into 40 which is equal to 80 which is the required answer. In my videos I have to give all the steps completely like a tuition study. So that is why I have to write all this and it takes some time. But when you are doing it orally it is much faster. Let us move to our next question now. If the total number of items sold by shop S are 10% more and that of T are 20% more in the next month. Then what is the total number of items sold by shop S and T together in the next month? So shop S next month First of all take current month shop S 22% of 500 22 by 100 into 500 and there is an increase of 10% in the next month. So you can see that it will be 110 by 100. By the unitary method you can check out or even if you see your profit and loss theory there is an increment of 10% the total will be 110 by 100. Now this we can check out this gives me 5 and this gives me 20. This 0 gets cancelled out 2, 11. This 2 gives me 11. 
So 11 square is 121. This is one thing. Shop T next month. Current month is 24 by 100 into 500. And there is an increase of 20%. So next month will be 120 by 100. Cancel 5, 520, 26, 24 into 6 is 144. And therefore, the required total 121 plus 144 265 items which is the required answer. Let us move to our next question now. Total number of items sold by shop P is equal to 36% of the total items purchased by shop P, the same shop. Then what is the total number of unsold items of shop P? From this table we can find out the sale. And the first part of the statement will help us to obtain the purchase. The difference will be unsold items of shop P. So we can say purchase into 36% 36% of the purchase of P is equal to the sale of shop P. Shop P is this. Its sale will be 18% of 500 which we can also write here. Uh, instead of writing we can just calculate the purchase first. Purchase will be equal to so if you are smarter you can calculate cancel out 100 and all and orally I can see that it should be 250 but let us write all the steps 18 by 100 into 500 take this 100 to the other side bring 36 down this 100 will 18 will give me 2 this 100 gets cancelled out and therefore the total purchase is 500 by 2 equal to 250 items and the sale we have already written here above 18 by 100 into 500 100 and 500 will give me 5 5 into 18 is 90 and therefore the balance stock or the unsold items would be equal to 250 minus 90 which is equal to 160 which is the required answer. A bit of cool mind is required otherwise the questions are not difficult they are in fact a bit interesting only. Let us move to our next question now. What is the central angle corresponding to the total number of items sold by shop S? The percentage of S is, 100, uh, S is 22 and we have to find out the value of this angle. The simple method is that out of 100 proportion of S is equal to 22 and this proportion angle out of 360 has to be found out and therefore out of 360 the proportion will be 22 by 100 into 360 by the plane unitary method which is equal to 
zero gets cancelled 36 and 22 when multiplied they will give me 79.2 degrees which is the required answer we shall close it right now thank you